Okay, folks, noodling away on this beautiful old mahogany guitar. Really, really handsome looking guitar. And uh, you might recognize the brand on this. It says Afanti. Uh, really handsome, nice looking guitar. And I've got a bit of information to relate uh, on these. Um, a while ago, I did a video on one of these guitars made of Paulonia. The top is Paulonia, the back and sides was um, Sopele Mahogany. And since then I've learned a few things. First of all, that Sopele guitar that I, sorry, the Paulonia guitar that I set up that's made um, exactly on this model but with a Paulonia top uh, had issues. It had a very, very slight um, neck issue and was hard to set up. I recently got this one and another Paulonia top from exactly the same uh, distributor and the Paulonia again had issues. So um, I could set it up but it was just problematic um, and, and to the point that I would like to avoid that. So I won't probably be getting any more of those guitars. I give manufacturers and distributors the benefit of the doubt. But once you get two or three with problems, um, you realize that there's uh, a bigger issue going on than just quality control uh, missing uh, one or two uh, things. This is a Fonti, but what I found out is that these particular Afanti guitars are made for Afanti by uh, a, um, a company called Pango. Now, if you go into eBay and punch in Pango guitar, you'll find two sellers. One of them is Guitar Kit World, and the other one's just Pango Guitars. And I think they're one and the same, they just have two, two accounts. And um, what re recently, in the last few weeks, I'm starting to see a lot of Afanti guitars springing up on eBay that are cheaper, uh, made with basswood uh, or laminate woods that are cheaper than um, these solid top instruments. And I think though they are made for Afanti by a different factory. These are the ones made for Afanti by Pango. Um, Pango is, has made a name for itself as a distributor of kits. So if you buy electric guitar kits, acoustic guitar kits, classical guitar kits, mandolin kits, um, guitars to build and set up, you might have run into them. They're, they're one of the top, now top distributors of uh, uh, naked uh, guitar parts and kits, uh, but they do also sell these that they make uh, specifically for Afanti. And I've got guitars from them that have different names on the uh, uh, on the headstock. So I think that they um, do OEM orders for different companies. The factory or uh, outlet is called Pango, and these uh, these mahogany ones are a lot nicer than the Polonia ones. This one's set up really nice. It plays a lot better. Uh, I really like this sort of dark chocolate uh, satin mahogany finish, uh, which is very, very popular. All white binding, purfled edges, uh, rosewood um, bridge. Not sure about that fretboard. That might be walnut. Uh, and then of course the capped keys. They have this sort of uh, brownish purloid capped keys, which are rather nice. They're very squared off headstock. Um, nice C-neck, uh, really nice sort of auditorium, mini jumbo almost, um, uh, acoustic guitar shape with the southwestern sort of rosette on there. Uh, these are rather handsome guitars and all mahogany guitars have become vogue in recent weeks and months so um, I usually don't hang on to them long so I thought I'd do a video of this one. I don't know the exact model number, but if you go to uh, Pango on, um, or Guitar Kit World on eBay, they have variations of this guitar. They have it in Mahogany, Polonia, then they have a spruce top, they have a spruce top sunburst, they have a couple of different shades of Mahogany uh, guitars, so they have uh, a, quite a selection, and I think they sell these for about 220 or something like that. Um, you know, which is probably about what I will uh, mark this out. I've done a full setup again. I uh, have to do some fret work. Um, I have to adjust the action and the truss rod on a lot of these. 
And as I said, the Polonia models that I got were problematic in that area, so um, just very slightly warped side to side so that the uh, curvature on the base side and the treble side is different, causing issues with action and playability, which I want to avoid. But this one doesn't seem to have that issue. Uh, very standard setup. Frets were a mess though. I had to do some cleanup and um, the action saddle height was wrong. Slightly uh, too, uh, I think this one was slightly backbowed, so I had to put some uh, relief back into the neck. Um, so there you go. These are the Pango <clears throat> guitars made for a Fonte, stamped a Fonte, uh, that you can find on eBay. And, um, you know, sometimes they blow them out. I think they've got some of these going for about 160 at the moment, so you can get them uh, cheaper. Be aware that you have to do a lot of setup on them. Don't come with labels. They just come with the uh, logo. Hence, I don't know the, uh, if there's a model number on these. But these mahogany ones are, are rather nice. I'm getting um, a couple more guitars from the Pango factory, uh, and I'll show those when they get here. All right, folks, see you next time.